welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial in this tutorial we will learn what is lifted bend in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal and how to use it and create this uh, how to use this feature and create this part I hope you like it so let's see and I'll also show you what is the difference between bend and formed bend so let's try here first we will create a sketch for lifted sheet metal feature so right click on any tabs go to tabs and activate sheet metal feature sheet metal tab okay now let me activate front plane sketch and I am going to create one sketch here so activate center rectangle tool start from origin point exit now activate smart dimension 120 say yes and vertical length it's 75 now I'm going to activate a sketch fillet and here 7 millimeter and I'll select whole rectangle so that it will apply at all corner say yes and cancel now the main condition of sheet metal feature is it should be open if you are going to apply any flange so center rectangle uh, activate construction line mirror entity I am going to mirror this make sure it is copied mirror line or mirror about so select this line say ok activate smart dimension and 2 millimeter now either you can trim this one or there is one more option called a split a split entities now let me choose this corner yes and this corner cancel now this line is split from this line so select this line convert construction geometry now still drawing is under defined so select holds control this point and this line and create here relation coincident now see our drawing is fully defined exit now let me create one plane front plane now here I will say distance 70 millimeter say yes A sketch on the plane circle define the dimension 40 okay now I will choose these three lines convert entity again select these three line and make sure it is for construction okay that's fine now simply again go to here search split entities click this point and this point cancel now these lines are splitted just simply click construction geometry if you found anything wrong or undefined so simply choose the point this line coincide point this line coincide now our geometry fully defined even though use stream entity and trim this line okay that's also fully defined sketch exit let me hide click hide now go to sheet metal and here activate lifted bend if you activate first it, it is ask you use material sheet metal parameter if you click it will say there is no material applied to this part and that's true we did not apply anything so let keep it as it is the main important thing manufacturing method bend it is used to control the bend or it is for simple parts formed it is used for com complex parts which is automatically defined and calculated by the system so first I'll go to bend now profile condition profile always be open and second thing only two profile you can select so I'm going to select one two look now you have to define facet value there are four types of facet value see if you apply directly here let's say 10 it will apply all corners 
but if you want to apply one by one this is the first chord length chord length let's say 0.2 it is going to apply all the edges if you apply number of bends there are 10 let's say 5 it is going to be apply all the edges and all the corners and it is 5 number of bends even let's say 3 look it is changes 3 number of bends the next thing is segment length segment length is I'll select this what is segment length okay first let me tell you one more thing material we applied here 5.5 point 5. 0.5 is the bending radius k factor 0.5 it is it means our bending uh, line should be at the center of the thickness corner relief we don't need for this okay segment length actually let's reduce this length increase sorry 10 bend inside okay now that's clear going to be now you will see this these are the arc length and this inside length the length between these two bends called segment length segment angle if we choose segment angle let's say 45 degree this is the angle between these two bend faces or these two segments let's say let's try to control individual accord length if i'm going to select this one point there are four points because of four bends now here you can simply apply it on individual bends let's say accord length let's say this one point one say yes look these are the different again click number of bends now here only two let's say four say okay see there is four bend again click on the point apply segment length here five you can say 10 okay again it is change again angle let's say 45 see it is change so everything you can do it by yourself 0.2 see say okay If we check flatten view, look, see these corners are not perfectly circular, but it's near to perfect because we applied individual bends here. But in formed case, it is different, it will be sharp circular edge. Let's see formed also unchecked. Now let's try you cannot directly right click edit and you cannot change this bend into formed bend so you have to simply delete it and create it again so delete say yes now again activate lifted bend and here i am going to choose formed see in formed the same condition profile should be open and the profile there is only two profile you can select at a time now here see this edges are sharp it is automatically calculate the bend and select thickness let's say 0 0.5 inside or outside say yes if you select open or flatten see these edges are near sharp or circular compared to bend look so this is a very useful tool in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.